Why do you think he apologized? Do you think that he was? I, do you? I, I'm, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Here. I've been thinking about it this. since yesterday That's morning. What, uh, is it possible that, dare I say, because J. Cole a bad brother, is it possible that he was worried about what Kendrick Lamar was gonna come back with? That wasn't one of the options I came up. I don't okay. think he. I don't okay. think he was. I don't okay. think he's worried. But I don't think. I think he really felt something internally. Yeah, I don't I think he, I don't, his skills is, everything is intact that should have engaged contact. Mm. I don't think, I don't, I really want to get next to him and sit down and really ask him genuinely mm. what happened. What did, mm. it, it, it went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> really got to know because right. I thought, I thought he was going to be the most, you know, Kendrick, he moves how he moves. Drake yeah. is very strategic mm-hmm. how he does stuff. Mm-hmm. But I thought on the lyrical, I thought Cole was going to be super active. Yeah. And he did come back, first one to respond, and then he he, he sees fire. So I don't know. What do you think Drake's going to do? Something that... Based, based off of what you see, knowing of, knowing this business, knowing him... Based off of what you see, what you've observed, what, what you he think gonna he's going to do? He's going to drop. He's going to drop. He's going to come back. Smoking. Mm. He's going to do it when, it's, when it dies down, though. He's going he to come like that when, it's, when, it's, when it dies down when and it then it's a little. Again. Yeah, he's going to spark it out of nowhere. He's going he to shoot a missile out of nowhere when, it, when everybody's least suspected. Am I wrong in saying this? Just my opinion. I know. He's got some game to him. Drake is big time. We all know that. I find him to be somebody that's just as skilled business wise. From a standpoint, like when you said he gonna wait till it dies down, and, yeah, then, and then here he comes. It's like doing it now. That's just joining the fray. He's not gonna be able to profit off of it the way that he will if he waits and then comes back and revitalizes it at some point in time down the line. I find Drake to be that kind of guy. Do you? Definitely. I don't know him. Right. But I think he's definitely a super great, dope business man. Mm -hmm. And I think he's going to do something strategic. He's not going to please. He's going to make it beneficial for him. He's not going to just because everybody want him to respond. He's not going to respond right now. But he is going to respond. And I like that. You like that? I think Kendrick already, before he let that first one out, I think he already had some stuff planned of how he wanna. Mm. And you saying you like that? That's what I love you want. it. That's the, what you the want. Music from games system. needs that because we we need to be friends, but not too friendly. You could be friends, not too At, friendly, but the, off the court, yeah. everybody goes to dinner. But you but know, on the but, court, but you, but you but you know that got the game has changed in this respect. I'm talking about life. We ain't never been more sensitive than we are now. I mean, every damn thing for crying out loud. You shoot two for 20 and you mad at me because I said so. This would be pissing me off. I, I can't. I'm like, I ain't shoot two for 20. You ain't doing it in the damn bedroom or your basement. Shit, you done it in front of a million world, people. Yeah. What you want me to do? That's what, that's what I saw. We live in a different age. Can you be friends but not too friendly in the rap game at this point, at this stage? You can be cordial. You can be cool. Okay. But this is a this is a samurai game. This is made the this is built off bragging and skills and you know what I mean? They can't if we if if I want your spot, why we why we keep drinking champagne and why we yeah, if I'm trying to kill you lyrically, why do we keep playing golf and doing all of this stuff together? So if this were basketball that we were talking about your favorite dude would have been Kobe. It would have been MJ. Yeah, my, it would be somebody like the Great Freak because they ain't trying to be friends. Greek Freak, Bernard King, get, yes, you got to come, you got to be on that type of time. Like, mm. And then after you on top, yeah, I want to be friends. Cause, <laughs> yeah, we got a picnic down. I thought already, <laughs> Not until um, I get you, though. Yeah. Not until I gotta, get you, though. Yeah, at least let's have some. Come on, I, we need that. It's Bruce Davis on the check-in. And yeah, I think J. Cole wasn't confident in his response. 
you know, he kind of went in this fight with his head swinging down a little bit. You know, you can tell that he highly values his friendship with Kendrick Lamar. And, you know, Kendrick's pretty strategic because he don't really say much. And, you know, all he gave us was some lines that was up for interpretation. And, you know, the meter's really still no big issue here besides Kendrick saying, you know, uh, fuck the big three, it's just the big me. And, you know, along some other lines and whatnot, but... You know, it seemed like to me Cole was unsure if Kendrick was in attack mode or not. But, you know, Kendrick told y'all on control, I'm usually homeboys with the same niggas I'm rhyming with. But this is hip hop and them niggas should know what time it is. So, you know, Kendrick's letting y'all know, like, yo, I'm cool with you, but I still take your head off. You know, as far as Drake, I think Drake would definitely respond. Because if you think about it, Drake responded to Pusha T with a full diss track. And all Pusha T was giving him some lines. I forget the name of the song. But it was definitely off that Daytona album. So if Drake is willing to do a whole record over some subliminal lines, he's definitely going to get at Kendrick, especially with the internet talking the way it is. But like Kiss said, I think Drake's going to be on his own timing with it. I don't think he's going to drop when, you know, just because we want him to right now, I think he'll drop when it makes the most sense for him to. You know, it is what it is as far as that. But anyway, let me know who y'all got in the battle. Y'all think Drake can beat Kendrick or y'all think Kendrick would demolish Drake? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.